Welcome back to what's going to amount to the, the legwork portion of this run not run. Our guys have been, I guess, hired? More like, yeah, let's let's go punch some keeps in the face for fun. Hey, who doesn't want to do that? Exactly. Right? Um, I'm, I'm going to say the humans, because we even have a keep who wants to do that, so... <laughs> No, I'm sure there's some humans I want to punch elves in the face too. Right. Um, you guys Why have, they a... have such punchable faces. Right. You guys have a day to wait until they, the organizers of this event, come through and cast their bewitching net of twenty new yen and a hot meal for you know a couple <laughs> of hours of being hit with fake sticks and swords and things, um, and then another day until the. Th the actual event happens. Azagog, the uh, the son of Sauron person, has arranged for you to meet with an actual blacksmith. He doesn't find much blacksmithing work nowadays. He does more of like reworking pipes and things to fit places, which he kind of uses the same thing when you don't have proper tools in the OU. Uh, he has arranged to get you all some actual chainmail, like legit chainmail. Fantastic. Uh, those of you who wish super awesome medieval helmets may go ahead and also get super awesome metal medieval helmets. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> you will be required in a couple of minutes to describe what exactly your super awesome medieval helmet looks like, along with your riot shield that somebody is getting uh, made up. Ah, uh, yeah. Nine. There, there was a plan that was proposed by a certain food truck owner to <laughs> to incite uh, that scene from Stand By Me where everybody pukes. But during our <laughs> during our brief break, that has been amended. And Mr. Dozer, if you would like to start from there on our plans for this event. Okay. So um, we're going to go ahead with Operation Chuck Wagon 2. Operation Chuck Wagon 2 is going to bring Dozer's food truck with uh, six orcs from the group that was interested, along with his dependent, Angelica, the elven taser waif, as the cashier, are going to prepare a delicious, historically accurate feast for the humans and the elves that are going to be at this event, which is going to be spiked with an industrial-grade laxative. This is going to give them enough time to line up, and when the orcs line up and sound the war drums, which I want to give to Ripsaw because that's going to be awesome, uh, um, yeah. that is going to activate the brown note, quote-unquote, and most of them are going to shit their pants. And once that is done and they're all fleeing the field, the orcs can then surge forward, set off the, the explosion, and whoever is left, we can eliminate and beat down in one-on-one -on -one duels. To, to clarify... When you said explosion, this is a historical reenactment of the Battle of Helm's Deep, wherein the orcs did manage to breach the walls with some form of explosive. Um, in this, it is more of a tearaway thing, so it's not an actual explosive, which usually marks about the halfway point of this event. Then, historically, they breach the keep walls and stuff, but that hasn't happened in any of these reenactments because they get a bunch of poor, undernourished, not appreciated orc people to to do things. They then use a spotlight right. to reenact the the rising sun when the reinforcements are to come over the hill and save the day. But uh, it never usually actually gets to the breaching of the the keep phase because nobody nobody has the oomph to keep going. And Dozer will also suggest to Azog that uh if uh, folks in the e, uh, the OU want a uh, a better meal and to watch a hell of a good time where they might get to punch a keeb in the face and then go home and tell their family about it, to go ahead and, and uh, quietly suggest that uh, the catering is going to be handled by uh, an OU native. He will uh, take that under advisement. Excellent. And uh, those is going to go back to his, his dark preparations. Could you... Uh... I guess the, the closest thing off the top of my head to the plan that you are enacting would be just like a cooking roll to see uh, how, how perfectly you get your, uh, you know, how much industrial grade 
laxative you need. Yep, one second here. You edged your toil and trouble roll. Yes, because that is how I do. That's I, this is this is a skill that I will always edge when I when I use it because it's so much fun. So with with three hits, you not only know the uh, the amount and the specific type to kind of bury the flavor of it in your uh, menu items. As I struggle for the proper verbiage, um, I. Don't imagine it's the kind of thing they sell in in bulk somewhere, so you're probably going to spend a little while going to a bunch of different stuffer shacks and buying, like, a laxative at each one. Sure. <laughs> Dealing with... I, the I mean, tw 24 hours of prep time, I, I imagine that I would have, I'm going to be hitting, you know, whatever, whatever place I can. Yeah. I don't imagine you could, like call up your fixer and be like, hey, give me a, I need a case of laxative like, by tomorrow, and then be like wait, what? It's like, no, no, Eve, seriously, this is this is for a, a good cause and uh, don't be over here on this day. Okay, thanks, bye. Um, so, so yeah. Employees are pretty cool guys. Don't go to <laughs> on this day. <laughs> You're already pissed off at me. Don't go over there. Just take it from me. Trust me. <laughs> um, Not suspicious at all. What no, other... I've... What other kind of, air quotes, preparations do you guys want to do? Um, I want to go to a magic supplies shop and buy some Rajans. Yeah, go nuts. Uh... Okay, Here well, go. I can't go nuts. I don't have that much money. But I'm going to buy 150 so I can fail at summoning a spirit to bind it. Oh, I need to roll for summoning. Sure. Uh, I'm not doing that here. I kind of went home to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you guys have, like, a yeah. full 24-ish hours before you uh, need All to right. do things. All right, so that's first I need to summon. So yeah. Anybody else have anything they want to do? Oh yeah, no, I got some. I got a couple things that I want to try to do. Sure. Or if you know, you just right. want to hang out and talk a little, <laughs> talk a little shop with your troll friends. I'm well, trying obviously. to figure out how to smuggle laser weapons into this. <laughs> <laughs> make a make make your laser look like a staff and shoot quote magic unquote at them. But anyway, yeah. Uh, first thing Grubsaw is going to do is she's going to go and she's going to watch the entirety of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Are you watching the extended edition? <laughs> Obviously. Alright, that's going to take you a full, like, 15 hours. Alright. <laughs> that was extremely important for what I have to do. Uh, next up, I am going to contact my fixer mm -hmm. and uh, his name is Orcus. I'm like, Orcus! I got a question for you. Mm? Do you know a guy who I can rent a really big dog from? <laughs> Go ahead and roll his stuff. <laughs> you guys have all seen Thor, right? Yeah. <laughs> I need a horse! I'm also willing to accept small bear. Out of curiosity, do you happen to have animal handling? Oh god, no. This that's the point. So, uh can someone help me understand how this thing works? So okay. if I want to use if I want to use if I want to use Rajans to summon out over my without having the limit be my magic, I mean the spirit rather than the spirit's force. 
how many would I need? It does. I don't see it, the rules. I'm going through the book and I don't see like what is the required amount. I it was muted. That is why me saying it's one for one did not seem to. Uh... Oh. <laughs> yeah. So if you want to summon a force four guy, but you want to keep up to five hits, you can ju you just spend one reagent, etc. Oh, okay, so you're saying. So, like, if I wanted to summon a 4 6 spirit, but I wanted to keep like 10, I would have to spend 4 more then. Basically. Yes. Okay. Cool. And then, okay. So, let's do that. So, I need 150. Okay. So Twitch chat makes uh, an excellent point. If we're getting a tactical battle dog, we do need to put like a sound system on that dog for, for the, <laughs> the pounding of the war drums. We will have subwoofers. Subwoofers. <laughs> subwoofers. God damn it. I get one I a day. You. I use it right. Oz, you may I have your edge back, you sir. People. Thank you. I hate you people. <laughs> yeah. No, the plan is... Uh, you know, in the second Lord of the Rings movie, which is obviously the one I paid the most, most attention to because it has Helm's Deep in it, they got the wargs. So Ripsaw is trying to build her own warg. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we totally need a steel lynx. And then we just like <laughs> go, we, we go to Kong Walmart and get one of those big faux fur rugs and I, we just like paste it on. I, I tell you what. Hold on. Let me. Do you broach this idea to your guy, your well, um, your Johnson? If, if he says no, I have the money to do this outright right now, and this is just too entirely awesome not to. So, if you want to purchase an actual steel links from from somebody in the the world to do this and can keep the steel links, you are more than welcome to spend that new yen. I was going to roll his stuff versus the rating of the drone to see whether or not he has a guy that you could borrow it for. Or we can see whether or not Ripsaw's guy is able to find a large riding dog or bear, which I have rolled a, a thing for that and have not gotten to the resolution of that. So I will I will leave it up to you as to whether or not you wish to purchase a, a lynx, attempt to borrow a lynx, or attempt to get a riding dog or bear. Um, I am I am more than happy to buy a Steel Links combat drone right now, and then tastefully explain in future runs why this is there and why it still has faux wolf fur on it. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, who you got to? Uh... Um, I'm gonna call Eve Donovan back up and say, Eve, I need a Steel Links now. No questions. <laughs> all right, you go ahead and roll her out. Oh, they're super expensive, right? They are. They're twenty five k. That would be a week. So that would be two weeks. Yeah. Let me. How much edge do you have? Five. Five. Do you want to spend one to have her get it to you in time? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Oh man, what am I getting into here? All right. So you uh. You you now own a steel lynx. Um, okay. If you wish, you may. How much would even? Okay, so it'd be three thousand six hundred new yen to outfit it with realistic features. Be right back, paints up. Yep. If you wanted to act like realistic features, one to make it look like a a bear or something along those lines. Oh yes, let me uh, let me add that out here. Realistic features. Realistic features. All the way at the bottom. Uh, let's see. And I'm sure that you can uh, use its weapon mount for a a sound system pretty easily. Oh yes. Uh, there it is. All right. All right. I'm happy with this. I am. <laughs> I am excited. It is. I am worried. 
That is that is what I am. This is this is this has been one of the best purchases I've had here. Yeah. Um. So. I imagine you were looking for one of those like Irish wolfhounds or something that is that is large and uh, befitting yeah, of a person of your stature. Basically, like a Great Dane or a Mastiff or something really big. All right. Let me see. Do a quick look on the 13 largest dog breeds as per this this random website that came up in my Google. Uh, Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. This big old Saint Bernard with the with the, with the schnapp barrel. So, stra- so strangely enough, straw. in in real life, my brother actually used to do Lord of the Rings recreations with his Saint Bernard. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I think Alaskan. The yeah, what's that dog? It looks like a lion. It's a bred dog. It's um, breed. It's super big. The Tibetan Mastiff. Oh, no, I think that... Basically, any type of Mastiff is a big dog. Let me... So, I think this is what he can what he can find for you, because it's big and dopey looking. And with only two hits on it, like... With only two hits on his test, he's not going to be able to get you a... Uh, <laughs> A fearsome beast. So, I feel like this is this is the dog that he can get you. A noofy. Oh yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> is large and floofy. I mean, I don't know how one buys a bar guest, so this will have to do. It is apparently a Newfoundland. That's where I live. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Big dog, but he has a uh, he has a guy that is going to be out of town and is looking for a dog sitter. So um, <laughs> you'll be stuck with the dog for a couple of days. But sure, you... yeah, that's fine. <laughs> um, I I was willing to go so far as to buy someone out of a dog, so this works fine. <laughs> what is uh what else do you want to you guys want to do uh i'm gonna roll for my Your summoning right yeah yep so force eight spirit of water yes are you comfortable with your four hits um say no think. and edge it um i'm trying to remember how much edge i have again I think I have like four or five. I have four edge. Yep, I want to edge it, please. Okay. All right, so I keep four successes. That means I'm rolling eight again. All right. Uh. It's not bad. Six altogether. Whew. So you have really not bad. So I get four net hits. So I have four services. And you only have to soak four drain. Yep. So let me roll for drain now. Drain. My tradition is what? Intuition. Okay, so it's intuition plus willpower. Mm-hmm. So ten. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna ask the Twitch chat to name the dog. <laughs> God damn it! You are. Oh, this will be good. You are more than happy to to edge your drain roll if you wish, or you may save it until you go to uh to try and bind this guy. Yeah, I'll take I'll take the two hits of drain. Yep, because you are not taking a penalty yet. Well, it'll be physical, yeah, and it's physical too, so whatever. Yeah. Right, so. You now wish to try and bind him? 
Yeah. You do know that Why bind. Not? You do know that binding is. Uh, Twice the. Yep. So the, I am rolling sixteen yeah. tier nine. Yeah. That's right. why I'm like, I, I originally I was gonna do force ten. I'm like, mm, that doesn't sound like a great idea. <laughs> That's fine. I'm just making sure that you are aware of what you're getting yourself into. Uh, yeah. I had a guy try and summon a force seven spirit one time, and I got like seven hits and did fourteen points of stun to him. It was great. Knocked <laughs> him out, and he got no spirit. It's fantastic. All right. So, so you may go ahead right, and roll your binds. Yeah, I gotta bind, but my I gotta spend a ridge on, which is force times twenty five. Yep. So, uh, a bunch. Eight times twenty five. Two hundred. Uh, yeah. Two hundred. So I'm spending this two hundred because I bought three hundred. Yep. That's two hundred. So I'm just making sure I put everything on correctly here, so I have no, it recorded. It's almost and as then, if it's a complicated thing. Yeah, I know. So, what sucks though is my binding is garbage. But I mean, you could always burn it to smack it down if you wanted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yes. <laughs> you should do that. <laughs> yeah, what What could possibly go wrong? Um, Nothing could go wrong. You smacked it down. Okay. But that is, you know, permanently losing a point of edge. Right. Yeah, no. Um, I will. I will say that I, in the okay. last time I did this, there was a a point of edge burnt. But there you was. Know, uh, the the ramifications of that you'll have to see by watching the video that I'll link when I'm done. Okay, so my binding is that. Yeah, can can I edge that? Yeah, you can edge any test you wish. <laughs> All right. So. As was seen when somebody edged a cooking roll. <laughs> yep. Not the first time I've seen that happen. I was like, what, what do you mean? I'm not going to edge a combat test. I ace those all the time. God damn it. Well, uh, I will go ahead and apologize ahead of time. You can get one hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's no good. You could, uh... So I take what half half no. No, you roll your drain. Twice, I yeah, but I'm trying to figure out the drain. The drain is twice your hits, right? Yep. So it's fourteen you're looking at. Yep. And what's your magic? Six. So that's physical because it's force eight. <laughs> yep. Oh god. Good news, you can edge this test too. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah yeah. Ten. Why not to just die. <laughs> What is this? Um. Right. Oops. Did I? I messed that up. This is kind of important for you. I messed that up. I'm sorry. Yep. There we go. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. You can have to. That again. <laughs> yep, that's good because that. Uh... It's just eleven physical. Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's only two extra dice I'd be rolling again. No, you would be rolling seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm looking at wrong numbers here. No, that's fine. Seven. Eight. Yeah. All right. So you have a pretty amazing physical pain that you are feeling today. Um, out of curiosity, yep. you took two physical earlier as well, right? Yep. Oh, it's supposed to minus one, right? No. No, wait, a, I wasn't taking no, penalty just... yet. I wasn't taking penalty yet. Alright, so yeah, you no, were... No, 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 eight. Uh, but what's your condition track? Uh, he eleven. has eleven. So you are currently at, uh... Ten yeah, of eleven. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I had to ask, because I was suspecting the mage was getting very close to dying. Uh, there was <laughs> definitely a chance for death there. Yep. This is what happens when you're a new player and you build things you don't know what you're building. <laughs> uh, you may you have learned an important lesson today about stepping above one's means. <laughs> but that's fine. You survived the experience and are none the worse for wear. Minus your uh, 
minus your minus edge. Def- <laughs> minus what? I spent two or right? three, right? Three. Uh, hours? I think you spent three because you spent one on the summoning, yeah, three, one on the binding, three. and then one on the binding resist. Yeah, so three. So I have one edge left. So we're gonna be rolling you to the recreation in a bed. <laughs> I mean, probably not well, feeling too well. I have a- yeah, I have a day <laughs> to yeah. rest up before they go to the meeting. You, t- you technically close. have two days. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, but I just wasted stuff because the spirit's going to disappear at sunrise. Yeah, you you do have the capability of doing stuff for like four hours with your uh, your water spirit if there were things that you wished to do with it during that time. No, no. There's right. nothing I wanted to do with it. Unless then, it's going to take me out for a burger party or something. I mean, probably not. Uh, if you ordered it to, it would be all about <laughs> going and doing a birthday party. Be like, yeah, sure, whatever you want. We burger party. Look, I'm on your dime <laughs> here, <work>. buddy. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. All right, so I guess I'm just going to go to bed. Okay. You want to go ahead and roll your body time still, and we'll see how much un, uh, unruined you get. Yeah. By the way, the the Twitch chat Twitch chat has declared that the dog is named Snarls Barkley. <laughs> <laughs> Winner. Like uh, okay. is it I, notoriety if I steal this dog or what does that count as? <laughs> uh that would probably be notoriety and your fixture would not be too pleased with you because <laughs> yo, that was that was my cousin's dog. <laughs> Probably a loss of loyalty, perhaps. Yeah, that's that. That wouldn't go well. Where, so where nah, was this I, rule I when I needed it? Where, yeah. where was this rule when I needed it? Right, that would have been nice to have. You would have, if, to make you feel any better, you would have still lost the seven hit roll from the spirit, but yeah, you would have not felt so bad about it because you had a chance. Um, so all stars taking all a right. nap. <clears throat> Anybody else have anything they want to do? Um, at some point, you will stop your Lord of the Rings binge watching as Snarls Barkley is dropped off. Nice. Yeah, I, I do have something I want to do. <clears throat> sure. Um, Dixie, I'd like to get a hold of a bunch of like foam rocks or sponges or something that are just gray, <clears throat> and I want to modify them so that there's like a thin capsule inside, and I want to put in like stink bombs. So that I can throw stinky rocks at them. <laughs> <laughs> if only you were that uh, that dwarven meta type that's basically a monkey, right? And you could throw, well, you sar- could fling Hanuman, poo. Hanuman. Yeah, yeah, Hanuman. You would be flinging poo. But uh, yeah, no, that's that's pretty easy for you to to do. Go to the the home Lowe's to get a can of spray paint and. One of those uh, bed bath sponges in. or something, yeah, or yeah, floof, or yeah, something, yeah. You, if you wanted to, you could probably just like soak the sponges in whatever stank fluid you get from the local joke magic shop, and sure. then uh, use the make sure there are make sure they're RFID tagged too. Yeah, for the oh. extra embarrassment. <laughs> oh man, yeah, no, you can have your stink rocks. Awesome, thank you. And um, he mentioned that the J mentioned that he had a blacksmith friend uh-huh. that could do some stuff. So I would like to kind of have a armor montage where I forge a thematically appropriate sledgehammer or club, depending on what you feel like would be more appropriate. That's a little bit on the heavy end. That's not just a foam weapon or anything that they're probably going to give us. You want to smuggle in an actual sledgehammer to beat people with? Yeah. I love it. Although it's going to look like the, it's a prop, of course. Sure, you want to... Uh... Oh, you actually have armor already. Cool. Uh, let's yeah, roll it to see, how, to see how great your montage is. Oh, this montage is going to be the best of montages. I'm going to pre-edge it. <laughs> okay. I love all of the edging on potentially inconsequential rules. Well, we still have a whole day. We can use at least one edge and get this away with it. This is true. That's right. 
end you up with a uh, a steel lynx that is made up to look like a bear. <laughs> Uh, af- after this, uh, Dozer is going to get the permit for it. He's going to park it on top of the chuck wagon, and it is going to be like the mascot for the chuck wagon. <laughs> do you, do you... <laughs> I'm sorry. This is, this is just getting a little silly. Uh, what's the what's the thing the chuck wagon actually is? Like the vehicle? Um, it it is literally called the Aries chuck wagon. Oh. That is that is the model. Oh, look at that! So it is. Oh man, do you have a name for your uh, your truck? Um, like, well, the name for the actual the, the actual food truck changes all the time, but it is it is owned by an LLC called CTT Solutions. So, if you like the. Uh, the drone rack is a eight thousand. There's a four thousand new yen modification. If you actually want to get the proper drone rack on there for a tracked vehicle, or you can just through power of or control strength put it up there. I don't, uh, I don't know how crazy you want to go with your spending here. Is it is it the standard drone rack large? I believe that- so because that is for like because the other one the landing ones are for flying drones. Right. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Why not? All I'll right, get that done. You have a uh, you have a proper ceiling or roof mount for your steel links. Perfect. And uh, later on, I'll actually use it for its intended purpose, but not this day. <laughs> um. But yeah, if you want to buy any auto softs or anything to go with it, you. You won't need it for this because you're probably just gonna have somebody ride on it like a like a battle bear thing. Which I don't care if it's not quite legal to how many things do, but hey, why not? Um, um I'm gonna go ahead and buy a maneuvering soft for it so it can a- <laughs> it can actually be programmed with this. <laughs> That's fine. Um and you, of course, can buy the the appropriate freight licenses when you purchase it to uh, to make it as legal as one can for it being a a giant combat drone. Um. So, light show. What was the uh, the crowning moment of your montage? Um, it was probably when I found that almost unused piece of rebar lying on the ground and it was just shining there like it made from a dream and I just slapped that on there. So instead of having one of the uh, like the nice leather wrapped handles, yours is actually just like a twisted piece of rebar that goes around and fits your hand grip? Uh, probably. I can't imagine there to be, have been some old license plate uh, wrapped around and around uh, as to be a handle for said sledgehammer. Wonderful. Um, anybody else have anything you want to do? I have a, another request from the blacksmith who are meeting, so when we get to that, I can do that. But I also want to see if I can find someone who can do makeup. <laughs> sure, what kind, of, what kind of makeup are you Re- trying to... Real Lord of the Rings makeup. I'll, get, I'll go all in. Make sure I get picked. All right, that's something you could totally have somebody do up tomorrow. I imagine it'll be after you finish the the binge watching. Oh yeah. Um, I I feel sorry for you watching the extended editions. <laughs> um, what did you want from the blacksmith? Uh, I want to get a really big banner. Okay. It'd make me look taller if I put it on my back. I imagine like one of those ancient samurai house banner things. Yeah, basically, but with like, uh, I would assume like the, like the Saruman logo on it because we're gonna be in Helm's Deep. Yeah, which it... is just the the white hand, which is basically Sons of Sauron. Yeah, it did, works double. <laughs> it absolutely does. Yeah, no, he's like, well, you mean like that one, and just kind of like pulls it down off the wall. Yeah, exactly. Except, yep. like, on a stick. 
kind of goes over and pulls off of probably the other half of that loose piece of rebarb that, uh, <laughs> like you were probably there early, and he's like breaks this piece off and kind of makes it into a giant flag thingy for you and just throws the loose piece of rebarb on the ground that Lightshow finds later. It's like this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Dixie, did you have anything you wanted to do? I haven't heard from you in a little bit, I don't think. No, no, that's it. Apart from the stink rocks, I'm good. <laughs> the wonderful, wonderful stink rocks. Uh, All-Star, you made your first roll. You got back most of your, uh, the bad hangover that you had, which is great, because, uh, because Owie. Yeah, <laughs> you're telling me. Uh, I will apologize for that, but it's a sorry, not sorry situation. Don't I also get back a point of edge, or no, normally? Uh, normally a, a good night's rest and a, uh, a hearty meal will do it, but, but having ten boxes of physical damage done is not a situation where you're getting a good night's rest. Awesome. However, if you do ridiculous shit, there will be opportunities to gain back edge in other ways. No problem. No, I was just, just asking. doesn't hurt to ask. Yep, no, that's fine. Um, oh, uh, um, shit. I also want to, while I'm forging, uh, make the Berserker mask from the Lord of the Rings. Uh, the, um, uh, I'm going to grab a picture of it if you don't know which one I'm talking about. Uh, but it's the one where they only, where they're born as naked and with a two-handed sword. I love everything about that. Um, uh, I'm, I, it's, I guess, basically a ballistic mask so that they can still see my horns since I'm a big fucking troll. Yeah, no, no problem. Done. <laughs> <laughs> Things that are in reinforcement of terrible tropes and the ideas that are going on here are very much, very much encouraged. And of course, it's going to have a white hand on it because that's what they have in history as well. Of course, of course, that is historically yeah. accurate. You can't show up to this kind of thing looking like a plebe. Uh, Dozer, do you want to? Oh, you have the weight there. Do you have like leadership or something that you want to do to to teach these people how to not mess up your chuck wagon? Um, let me see what I got here. Because you have a bunch of unwashed masses here. Right. I do not have any type of leadership or instruction skill. Do you have intimidation? Um, no, I don't. I have con and etiquette. Those are the closest things I've got. Uh, we can go with some etiquette. It's fine. I don't. All right. I don't imagine it's a, an actual like. Well, let me ask you this: Are you actually going to pay them for their their service today, or are you going to? Yeah. <laughs> I'll pay them, I'll feed them. <laughs> Hopefully the, not what you're feeding the rest just, of the crew out. Just, just don't eat hey, this stuff. If, if they don't fuck up, then yeah, they get actual good food. But if they mess up, they're going to have to eat their mistakes. That's the rule of cooking. You eat your mistakes. This is, and don't this lick is mostly your fingers. True. Whatever you do, do not lick your fingers. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, man. There you go. Three successes on Get It Right, You Grots. Yep, they are... They are in, like, Flynn on this... Uh, Perfect. ...offense. Um, so you have your food truck guys set up to... to poison... Uh, the breeders. You have... the. The taser waif is in position to to man the truck, as it were. Um, everybody else is getting their gear all blacksmithed and ready. Is there anything else anybody wants to do before we go ahead to the point where they come to do their recruiting? Uh, no, I think we're pretty good here. I'm just trying to get the maneuvering program added properly in, in Hero Lab, and it's not letting me. I you... want to get a cup of coffee. You are able to get a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all set. Okay. Um, 
so tomorrow night at about we said five o'clock, right? I don't quite remember. Correct. So many things had had gone on since then that I kind of forgot. Um, the entrance that you guys have is going to be kind of full of a bunch of orcs and stuff that are just kind of loitering about. The kind of loitering about that in Seattle proper would probably get a bunch of official like police people to at least come by and kind of shoo them along. But you know, right now they are very obviously here because they know that uh, for the lack of a better term, an employment opportunity is going to cross their path. Um, looking around, uh, if you guys want a real quick perception test, we can see and if there's anything in particular that you guys are looking for. Mm. No, just real generic perception. Just sure. to see what's going on. This helmet, I can't see out this helmet. <laughs> <laughs> it's between the helmet and the fact that you're not the tallest person anymore. There's a bunch of trolls that are... Uh... Right. You, you see a lot of girdle-plated ass. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lower back, probably. Probably. So you probably want to start uh, putting some knowledge skills into uh, chiropractic, because you can definitely see they need some lower lumbar support. That's what our combat team? is for, right? Do yes, you need to yes. boost rips off? You want to sit on my shoulders? No. <laughs> Man. Take that, not troll. Uh, we're going to nickname her Troll Babe after this. <laughs> um, so, uh, is that Dozer again with the giant pile of... Yep. Uh, so it's not quite the, the space and time revealing thing that you had yesterday. <laughs> that was really surreal. I'm not sure how that happened. Um, right. You will see that ser your your six men have shown up and they're kind of palling around together right now. Um, Good deal. You won't see any of the people that you saw yesterday that were very obviously with the Sons of Sauron. Uh, mm -hmm. um, which, who knows if they uh, are here in this... You know, there's a lot of people, so maybe it's just kind of... Haven't seen them? Um... Nobody here is carrying more than like a taser or maybe like a boot shank, unless you guys are are rocking uh, hot and heavy. Uh, no, if, if, no, no, if I want to be looking the part, then I'm not going to be carrying anything. But Dozer doesn't need to carry anything. Right, he has a taser wave. Why does he need everything? everything? Uh, not not only a taser wave, but he's got the oh. the implanted shank and the implanted shotgun and the implanted muscles and et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Um, he is going to be dressing in his raggediest, most baggy clothing, so he looks poorer than he actually is. So you probably did a uh, a Batman Begins where you find a bum and give him ten bucks for his jacket. Yes. Like here, have this nice jacket. Give me your shitty here. one. Get out of here. Yeah, here's here's ten million in a bag of macaroons. Get out of here. <laughs> um, anybody else doing anything of uh, air quotes interest while they're here, or do they want to do anything, or just kind of wait until the ponces show up? Um, seeing as light shows trying to go for the role of being like a berserker or a big astro, he's going to be skipping his shirt and go all out flex day, and he's going to get a pair of pants that he's going to be ripping off by the knees just to show as much beef as possible. So, and I'm going to be having a duffel bag that I carry around with the stuff that we made for the run and some uh, kami. <laughs> I feel like the comment would actually hurt you getting picked just because it's one of those things of like, dude, that guy is messed up. Now, when you say ripped off pants, do you mean like you're wearing pants and then you're going to do that dramatic and, and pull them off in front of the guy? Or are you like short you shorts wearing, with the with the pockets coming out? You're wearing Hulk pants. <laughs> yeah, it's basically Hulk pants. Wonderful. So, as terrible as that is, <laughs> the, the image that we all now have in our minds. Um, All-Star doesn't mind that image. Just want to point that out. Oh. <laughs> so the... Uh, the entrance here will have two very nice cars kind of pull up. 
and out will step a rather fit elven man and a rather fit human man that looks remarkably like Sean Beam. <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, a dwarven guy is going to get out and they're going to kind of all get together and have a, a quick meeting and shaking of hands. It's like, happy to, to see you again. Can't wait for tomorrow. It's going to be very exciting. And then they're going to turn to address the the field of orc humanity and troll humanity in front of them and one keep and kind of pull out a blowhorn and begin to address the crowd. Like, Hello, friends. Once again, we have come to to find some people that are willing to participate in our historical reenactment. And he'll begin to go on and describe the um, the event, the kind of the timeline and that kind of stuff and where it'll be happening, that everybody will be... Uh, supplied a an RFID receiving shirt that'll let you know when you're down and out and you will all be given your choice of like one of this the swords or a club or whatever it is that they wish um, if you guys have any questions about the actual event now would be a, a fantastic time to ask them when do we eat <laughs> <laughs> it's such a great question because it sets up like so many different things and it's perfect for a poor destitute orc person to ask and it sets them up for such a downfall <laughs> ah yes food will be provided throughout the day you will be each be given two uh two RFIDs one for a one for a meal and one for a snack most people tend to eat before the event the, the snack may be redeemed for either an additional drink afterwards or an additional bit of food, dependent upon what you wish. The trucks that will be there will all accept these little RFID tags. And, of course, you may also peruse the ones that will accept straight up uh, Nuyen for, for the other wares that they, per, that they have. All right, so um, when do we get paid? Yeah, uh, how much? How much is it? How much do we get paid? Yo, I, I heard my pal yet, last year he got paid like twenty new yen. <laughs> I was in on that action. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, it's too good. Ah, uh, oh, yes. God. For uh, for this year, we have a. The same deal. It will be a t- new yen is like insane. That's what he told me. Fuck for twenty new yen, I'd do whatever you like. I'd kick him in the face. I'd kick him in the face. As, Just tell me what you want me to do. For as tempting yen, as that may you. be, sir, attacking your associates here is will not be required. We will have buses are coming up shortly that you guys will be able to to get on, and we'll be taking to the grounds. Before the event starts, when everybody is issued their um, their equipment and pick that up t- before we begin, they will also be handed a cred stick, which will have their new yen on it, along with the RFID tags for your meal and your snack. All right. <laughs> we even get paid on a cred stick. Fuck, man, that's cool. He even left that bit out. Yes, yes, that's that's quite cool. Uh, what so time I, are the buses picking us up tomorrow? They will be by. Uh, he insinuated the buses will be picking you guys up tonight and take and busing you to the to the fairgrounds. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, they will be by in the next couple of minutes. They are kind of coming through traffic as it is and. Getting down here with large vehicles can be a bit of a difficulty. But if you find folks, and he says that through, given as you guys are being employed by a racist organization, you'll be happy to know that you can feel his uh, disrespect for calling you all fine folks. We'll uh, be able to be dropped One, off. Once I see that, Light Show just butters it on just to spur his hatred. 
uh, and goes, I mean, a quid sticks like four weight, and he brings up his hands and goes, Ah, oh, one. Um, that's like 20 something more new yen. Shit, this job's great. <laughs> and, all, and all we gotta do is get hit and fall down, right? Well, you should at least make a show of it. Put up a, oh. a little bit of a fight. Make some sport. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Yeah, what's, uh, what does sport mean? <laughs> <laughs> His shoulders will droop ever so slightly, then pick right back up as a, a corporate rich person does. Rather than having you all just lay about in the field and collect your new yen that way, it, it is supposed to be a battle. You are supposed to be fighting and... Uh, and he kind of continues on, but Rob is perplexed due to the the ignorant racism that is being used against them. It's fantastic. <laughs> I know, whatever will they do? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, oh, these dumb trogs and tuskers. And, ah, it's the worst. Why are they so stupid? I can't so, wait so, to have some of that wonderful fair food tomorrow. Uh, so we can just, like... <laughs> so you want to be sport? I mean, so we can, like, hit the other guy in the head with our clubs? Not in the head. They will all be wearing... Um, and he'll kind of motion leg? for one of the... Like uh, one of the open. guys to bring forward one of the t-shirts that is made to look up like a breastplate. These shirts will all have RFID tags in them so that when you contact them and he'll have one of the other guys will grab a uh, a fake sword that looks like the Orakai sword from Lord of the Rings, obviously, because that's what you guys will all be handed. And he'll kind of hit it with it and then you'll see the shirt will kind of light up. When it flashes red like this, you may lay down or exit the field. You have been You've been defeated. If it flashes like this, and they'll hit it at a different spot, and it'll go yellow. You have been wounded, and the next one that connects will will put you into the red state, and you may leave. If you are hit like this, and he'll kind of tap it again, and it'll it'll blink, but then it'll go back to normal color. You have been grazed. The system will remember that you have been hit, but not in a in a mortal fashion. So you may continue on with the event. So nothing to the knees? He'll kind of point like the shirt with the whole like up and down Vanna White thing. <laughs> this is where the sensors are located. Blows outside of that area intentionally are not required. Granted, but accidents I... happen, but we don't no want problem. anybody to be hurt. No problem. This is all for fun and sport. Can I whack them in the head by accident? If you are trying to whack them in the head, it is not by accident. <laughs> well, everyone is so much smaller than us. Where else are we going to get? Yeah, he, he, they got a point there. Um, we are kind of bigger than all of you. And your 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 head is, is in perfect um, sword, 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 sword smack and height. <laughs> so we're uh, we're kind of sorry, I guess, in advance. Do, do you want us to sit down and whack at you? <laughs> oh man, can we do that? <laughs> you we can, can sit on the ground <laughs> and whack at you. You can see, uh, Dozer, you got a five hits. You can see that his eyebrow is starting to twitch ever so slightly. <laughs> I wish I'd yeah, set up yeah. a DNI so I could just point this out. <laughs> <laughs> a little the... graph with anger level is just going ever up. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ripsaw, can you roll me a memory test real quick? Because I'd forgotten that you had done sure. this. Alright. Uh... Oh god, this is not optimal. Don't worry, you had 15 hours to, to see this, so you're uh... I'm not super good at memory. Yeah, no, it's not a super high threshold. Yeah, no, that'll work. Oh. Yeah, yeah. These three guys look very much like the three... Like, the dwarf kind of looks like Gimli. And the elf kind of looks like whatever the name of the elf guy was. Orlando Bloom. 
No, not Legolas. <laughs> the like the leader guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I know who you're talking about. Um, Elrond. They, Elrond. They yeah. all they all look like Orlando Bloom though. <laughs> well, that is racist. <laughs> I'm I didn't being... realize that Lord of Rings had a girl elf in it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they're not all girls? I, I can't tell. As a side tangent, I totally played the female blood elf in WoW because it was the more masculine model. <laughs> um, so the dwarf looks like Gimli because he's the only like important dwarf I remember from that movie in that scene. Uh, the elf looks like the leader elf guy. And the guy that looks like Sean Beam looks like the dude who is Sean Beam's... Uh, I think it was his father or something in that movie that was the Lord of Helm's Deep. Yeah. You have no power. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he looks like the dude that was the leader of Helm's Deep. So obviously these are... Let's call them important characters in this reenactment that is about to... Uh... So, um, nerd alert... Uh, Sean Bean's father was actually the Lord, the steward of Gondor, not the uh, Lord of Helmsdeep. All right, well then he's perhaps perhaps just uh, Rob screwing up because it's been forever since he's seen any of these movies except for the Minister. Get your get your historical reenactment right, Rob. Right? Uh, that's what I get for only watching the twenty minutes of the Battle of Helm's Deep because I'm like I need bullet points to happen during this thing, and I have a couple of them now. But I watched it on YouTube and it was a bit like. But... But you said we couldn't use bullets. Uh, yeah, they didn't. Believe it or not, the historical reenactment did not involve guns. Then how can you have bullet points if we have no bullets? <laughs> because I hate you. <laughs> Granted. Um. But yeah, and he'll kind of begin moving away from this conversation. It's like, ah, the first bus has arrived. My associates <laughs> and I will begin. I don't like the term selection process, but we will begin the recruitment for our historical reenactment. Sadly, due to UCAS law, children under the age of whatever the air quotes underage is for people who die at the age of 40 is. Um, I imagine that's like 12 or something. I don't know. No, yeah, because they orcs reach sexual maturity at twelve. It's never stated at what I mean at full maturity at twelve, and it's never stated what maturity elm trolls reach at. But it's probably around the same, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. Uh, those of you that are under underage, we sadly will not have the uh, we will not be able to employ for legal reasons. As uh, when you accept the the payment tomorrow, it will be stated to you that you do not hold us responsible for any injuries that may occur and he'll go on with a lot of legal bullshit like wax to the head no wax to the head <laughs> okay but if it does happen we are not held that um that that liable uh, thingy yeah that, no that you lively you... reprehensible <laughs> the r word he used the respir respirable respirator like, Restoration. Like, Restaurant tour. Wait, 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 wait. I only have two hands and I'm going to be holding this weapon. I can also hold this liability thing you're talking about. <laughs> no, I, I mean, said if is that I we, gotta we don't hold have the to liability hold. thing, that means you guys have an edge no, over no, me. No, and no, that's you... not fair. Mama <laughs> told me what fair no. is and this isn't fair. No, 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 no. We don't have to hold the liable. We can leave it with with our stuff at the edge of the field, <laughs> and we can pick it up afterwards. Oh, oh, that makes a lot more sense. The dwarf is just face palming and pinching the ridge of his nose. <laughs> uh, but yes, the everything will be explained when you pick up your gear in the morning, and thankfully here the buses are for us to go through and. Begin the recruitment process. And awesome. those three guys are going to kind of get back into their cars very hurriedly and kind of drive off. The first two buses will pull up and a couple of other guys are going to get out. Look very much like working stiffs and kind of begin going through the crowd of yes, no, yes, 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 no. And the people that are being turned around as no are your 
you're obviously not fitting that mold of uh, what they are looking for. When they come up to Light Show, who has, if memory serves, no shirt, short <laughs> shorts, and a duffel bag. Hulk shorts. Sorry. Hulk, Hulk shorts. They're not short shorts. They're like, they're like really tight on it. I'm because expecting Hulk them out. to hand me the Berserker Speedos, good sir. Thankfully, we will not be having Berserker Speedos. You may get a loincloth if you wish to transform a piece of clothing into a loincloth. You may do that. But Speedos are sorry that it's going to cross into indecent exposure and this is a family event um as they as light show comes up they kind of look like what's in the bag is my sleeping bag sir i'm gonna i'm gonna need you to open it up before we can approve or deny you yeah uh I, i open it up and if memory serves it's full of crazy berserker helm Warhammer and what else is in the bag? Uh, uh, call me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you making an effort to hide any of this stuff? Maybe some call me. <laughs> um, I guess I would have put the call me inside my berserker pants, or uh, sorry, Hulk pants. Okay. Um. So he's not happy to see us. No. Is that, is that a commie in your pocket, or are you happy to see us? Uh, can you just roll me a palming real quick? Uh, that's based off of agility, I believe. Yes. Um, yes. Are you allowing me to default in this? Yeah. I, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, for the sake of it, I am going to edge this, because it's fun. Sure. Uh, don't worry about it. Alright, so they, uh... In what is no surprise to Light Show, do not know what to make of you. <laughs> and then somebody behind you in line is going to kind of begin to, to rabble rouse a little bit. And they're just like, alright, fine, just... Get on the bus. Who wants to be next to meet the scrutinizing eyes of these two guys that don't give a shit? Oh, Dozer does. Sure. Was Dozer the guy making grief about it taking so long? Or... Yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, you're next in line, and they're gonna kind of like, "What are you? What are you carrying with you? Anything?" Um. Or... He's not gonna have like anything like carried but he's got the uh, chain mail on underneath his uh, underneath his baggy ass clothes sure so they're going to kind of look you up and down uh, you're you're ridiculously buff aren't you uh, that's why the baggy clothes yes okay um, so they're going to look you up and down and give you a little bit of the you'll hear one line that's like he looks like he's actually going to hurt somebody <laughs> Because you so, are, uh, uh, you are what, body. What are we gonna eat? Yeah, body, body seven, <laughs> strength eleven. Yeah, you're a big fucking dude. Oh, you're only one strength stronger than me. God damn. Uh huh. <laughs> I I should be spending my my karma into raising it, but I've been raising skill instead. Like artisan four <laughs> with a cooking specialization. Exactly. Um. So you asked them when you're like, uh, they're. The food trucks will come by starting at about noon tomorrow. Uh, although, if you wish to eat before that, you're going to be kind of on your own. The the RFID tags won't be put out until later in the afternoon. Yeah, all right, whatever. And he's just going to push through and get on the bus because he's already got the uh, implicit approval. <laughs> um. Let's go. Let's go with Dixie next. Dixie kind of wanders on up. What are you? Uh, yeah. What are you, what are you bringing with you onto the the thing? I just got a, a bag with like the uh, the chain mails in there and the and the kind of cheesy looking helmet. And uh, at the bottom, I've got a bunch of little baggies that look 
like rocks, but they're obviously not. They're squished. I'm gonna mean, sealed up so they don't stink too bad, but they probably stink yeah. a little bit. I imagine you got some of that like latex paint that has that like leaves yeah. a bit of a film or something on it. Right. So I got you know open it up and probably catch a whiff of something. <laughs> That's okay. You're a dirty orc. It's fine. Right. You, you're supposed to stink, and your clothes are supposed to stink. So they're going to kind of look you up and down. Would you say she is attractive for a non-orc person, or is she just... Uh... Uh, Charisma 3. I mean, pretty normal. For a non-orc? For not yeah. She's body of 9, though, so quite large. I don't have quite Beefy. the strength of all the other buns out here, but uh, but yes, big. Um, so they'll kind of give you the look up and down, and they're when you go to op- when they ask you to open your bag, and then presumably you do, and they're going to get the... Ugh. You might want to sit at the back of the bus. There will be a shower station set up at the the place more oh. so for the the medical tent, but uh, you might want to make use of it too. Okay. Oh, okay. That kind of head shake you onto the the bus. Okay. Um, ripsaw. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> What are you, uh... What are you carrying with you? Uh, if I recall correctly, I'm carrying a shield. <laughs> and then... I'm ca- I have a spiky helmet, because I don't know how I'm going to hide any of this stuff, so I might as well just carry it. Yeah. Uh, and a banner and some chain mail. <laughs> and a dog. <laughs> and a dog. I don't think the dog is in the bag. <laughs> Can you do me a favor and roll animal handling real quick? What is that based on? Charisma. Charisma. <laughs> Alright. I'll give you uh I'll give you a plus two because you've at least spent the night with the dog. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so weird. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> I don't know if that's how it works, but we're ignoring the rules today. You spend the night with something, you get plus two charisma. <laughs> I mean, you could try it with Dozer. Let's see. What are we trying with Dozer? <laughs> Spends the night with you to get plus two with you. To handling. <laughs> to handle you. That ain't nobody can handle Dozer. <laughs> uh, so they're going to look at you with your stuff and they're gonna look at the dog who has got a derpy look and his tongue is kind of <laughs> hanging out of his mouth <laughs> and is pulling a little bit on the leash but you're able to kind of keep him under some control uh ma'am yep what's with the dog don't you know your history Uh, he's going to kind of look at the other guy about, like, what do, what do we do? <laughs> and uh, What is our history? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just having a little bit of trouble wrapping my head around the situation that I find myself in. Um, But after some very confused looks, and you standing there in what is apparently very uh, period-appropriate gear they're just gonna kind of both look at each other and uh, just make sure the doggy doesn't doesn't make a mess of the bus all right oh he won't all right and then they're a full wave you wave you through and all-star last but not least i'm like the most normal one on this bunch <laughs> And that's a terrifying uh, thought, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Uh, she just shows up wearing a tank top, <laughs> some shorts, <laughs> and a backpack with a change of clothes and her taser and her on a holster on her hip. That's about it. So we're gonna we're gonna say that you're cl- close to the end of the amount of people that they are taking, and Pretty they're much. gonna they're gonna look at you and they're gonna kind of look back and uh have a, have a wordless conversation between them. Ma'am, are, 
are you sure you want to get involved with this? We've seen some characters today. And uh I, I live down here, I see them every day. Alright! Sure. No no problem then. You uh you go ahead and get on and we'll we'll have ourselves a, a fantastic day. And uh they will allow you to pass and you will see probably maybe just Ripsaw on this bus with the dog kinda uh, this dog has suddenly become a cuddler and is definitely all over Ripsaw and is probably bigger than you. At least something <laughs> is. Um, and you guys will be driven to a big old fairground and the buses are going to kind of open up. It has... Let's not exactly call it temporary housing, but there are large tents that are set up that have uh, kind of tarps laid out on the ground and... Uh, communal housing sort of thing. I imagine it a bit like when you uh, disaster relief. Yeah. yeah. Refugee camp. Yeah. So wow. for for some of you, it's not all that different than what you're used to. <laughs> for those of you... Lifestyle, baby. That's not true. There's sunlight. <laughs> <laughs> this is also true. <laughs> there may not exactly be... It is air quotes fresh air. You mean you had grass as a kid? <laughs> right? Yeah, my parents were smoking it all the time. Um Yeah, you guys are at the grounds now officially. What is it you want to do? What time is it? Uh probably about 8 o'clock just for travel time and the amount of time to go through the large press of goblin humanity there. And everything starts tomorrow? Tomorrow evening will be when the uh, the actual event takes place. Because they have to wait for the sun to go down for you know, the sunrise to happen. Yeah. And also so no one dies from heat exhaustion. I, that's probably also a thing that they need to look forward to. Um, also, I was going to go find somewhere to sleep. <laughs> sure. That's easily accomplishable. Uh, Dozer will wander off to uh, give the call to Angelica and the rest of the team to where, where to direct the food truck and uh, probably bring some extra stuff since they're not feeding anybody tonight and there's going to be a bunch of hungry, uh, hungry goblins around here. That's some bullshit. Oh, I, I guess it's assumed it's that you... start. Go ahead and build some popularity here. Oh, so you want them to come by tonight and feed people, and then tomorrow, uh... tomorrow be about, and uh, everybody can go on about how awesome it was that they gave that they gave all the orcs and trolls free food, and so that'll piss off the humans and the elves, so they will demand equal treatment, and the truck will be like, "Yeah, sure, no problem. Here you go." Um, can we retcon that I at least have a meta link with me? Because I just realized I didn't mention I had a com link on me. Nah, I imagine you guys, there's certain things that everybody would have would have had with them, like phones and that kind of stuff. I would, didn't. Yeah, but I imagine a Fairlight Caliban would have stuck out. Yeah, just so. a bit. You probably will have a, a, a garbage phone with you. Um, but it was more so to the people that were like, uh, I break out my assault rifle. Wait, what? <laughs> So my heavy grenade launcher was in my backpack, but no one noticed. Yeah, you you thought it was in there, but it turns out you left that at home. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, it's just not period appropriate, so unfortunately, <laughs> that, just, that just didn't work out for you. Didn't even know I had one. <laughs> right? It's just the damnedest thing. All right, so um, I guess since I'm taking some rest, I'm going to see if I can recover... The rest of my... Uh... Your physical? Yeah. Yeah, you are more than welcome to do that, sir. Slash ma'am, depending upon how you, you want to do it. Yeah. I don't, you know, restrict myself to a specific gender. <laughs> that means multiple uh, things. <laughs> <laughs> you <As> whore. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright, so... Healing... Oops, spelled that wrong. Yeah, look, I'm healed. Wonderful. Magic. Um, 
if nobody else has anything they want to do at the fairgrounds right this moment, we can go ahead, I think, and take another quick break and then find out what kind of insanity happens on the morrow. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. C can I can I regain one edge from just recovering four physical? Do you have any physical left? Nope, I'm completely healed. Then you may have an edge back, sir. Yay. Okay. All right, cool. so we'll, break take time. A, we'll take a couple minute break. Okay.